Has your WhatsApp Business API account suddenly been disabled? Is your phone number showing the dreaded banned status? If yes, don't panic. I know it can feel like the end of the road. Customers waiting, conversations on hold, and all your hard work hanging by a thread. But here's the good news, many bans are reversible. And in this video, I'll show you how to get your account back if you're eligible and what to do to make sure it never happens again. Please note that this video only covers numbers set up with the WhatsApp API and not the WhatsApp Business Mobile app. First things first, let's understand what has happened. When you see the banned status, it means that your WhatsApp Business API account has been disabled due to a violation of WhatsApp's business messaging or commerce policies. You might have unknowingly violated one or more of these rules, and the sooner you understand the reason, the sooner you can start the recovery process. There are a few common reasons why this may happen. The first one is getting banned for unusual spam activity on your number. Please note that WhatsApp is strictly against spam, and you should never send messages to your contacts without consent. Messaging random numbers without permission is seen as spam and can cause your number to get banned. The second reason is impersonation. Pretending to be another brand, public figure, or celebrity also results in an immediate ban. Then there's sending malicious or suspicious messages or links. Any message or link that is misleading or contains malware, spyware, or harmful software, even if shared by accident, can trigger restrictions. If your number is banned and the reason shows a scam, this is likely why it happened. Your account may also get disabled because of the lack of a live website. During setup, WhatsApp asks you to share your business website. Later, if they find the site is not live, shows a coming soon page, or doesn't properly represent your business, it can lead to a ban. Finally, there's the violation of WhatsApp's general terms and commerce policy. This includes sending harmful or abusive messages, promoting restricted products such as drugs, firearms, or adult content or sending messages in restricted categories like gambling, crypto, or others. By now, you probably have a good idea of why your number has been banned. Note that recovering from some of these issues is possible, but in other cases, the ban might be permanent. Let's look at what you can do to recover your account. The first step is to log into your WhatsApp manager. There, you'll see an account disabled alert with details explaining why your account was restricted. The notice could mention different types of issues, if it's related to your website, make sure the URL you've entered for your WhatsApp business account is correct, active, and actually belongs to your business. If it's flagged as spam, it usually means too many people reported your messages in a short period of time. These bans are harder to reverse, but you can still request a review. If it's a policy violation, your category, products, or messaging practices may be in conflict with WhatsApp's rules. Review the policies carefully and fix any compliance issues. The reasons mentioned above usually cause temporary bans. Once you've identified and fixed the issue, you can request a review. From the review page in WhatsApp Manager, you'll see a request review button. Click on that to submit a short professional message explaining the situation. Reviews are usually processed quickly, sometimes within just a few hours if no extra details are needed. If your request is declined, don't give up. Review any possible issues, fix them, and submit another request. But sometimes you may not see that button at all, or it may show as disabled. If that happens, in most cases, that means they banned your number permanently. Unfortunately, there is no workaround in that case, and the only option is to start fresh with a new account and phone number. You can also try reaching out to your WhatsApp API partner for support. But if the ban is permanent, even they may not be able to help. Before we wrap up, let's talk prevention. Recovering from a ban is possible in many cases, but avoiding one in the first place will save you a lot of stress, time, and potential lost business. The best way to do this is by fully understanding WhatsApp's commerce policy, terms of service, and messaging guidelines. A proactive strategy will not only help you avoid bans, but also boost your messaging limits over time. We hope this video was useful. If you'd like to start fresh or switch from your existing WhatsApp API provider to one that not only educates you on these matters, but also offers a robust tool with 0% markup on API charges, check out WA Notifier. We make prevention and compliance easier by giving you the right tools from the start. Built-in opt-in forms, safe broadcasting features, analytics to track your quality score, and automated safeguards to keep your account compliant. That way, you can focus on meaningful conversations with your customers instead of worrying about bans.
Sign up for WA Notifier today to safeguard your WhatsApp business API account and build stronger customer connections.